He is limber. Holy moly. No wonder he's an astronaut. He is, he is built for this job. <laughs> Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's MBR. Welcome back to some more Osiris. And uh, before anything begins, guys, I just wanna let you know that this is my third time making a galaxy slash character. I've had my base deleted two separate times and now this is Elon Musk Jr. Jr. Son of the son of the SpaceX uh, explorator. God, get away from me. This, this is my neighbor, Daryl. He's a little bit aggressive. Um, I'm gonna be a preemptive about this. Just go away, Daryl, stop. Please, please just don't hurt my guy. Please die. There you go. And uh, just to let you guys know on this galaxy, I made it so all the resources are very bountiful, but I also made all the creatures pretty much infested. Like it's it's one notch below the top tier of spawning rates and stuff like that. So that's a dangerous place to be in. Uh, I'm probably gonna die very quickly and often. So anyways, I had mined enough stuff to get back to the spot where I was before uh, resource wise and building wise, but now I can go to the next part of the mission and make myself a habitat. I need steel plates, glass, aluminum, and copper. God, there's another monster. Why do I build my places in the worst spots possible? I don't know why I do this to myself. Maybe it's because deep down inside, I want some sort of a challenge. This is what using a shovel in first person looks like and in third person. It's stuck in my legs. It's a crotch shovel. I'm shoveling out the sand between my vagin. <laughs> so anyways, now that we're all cleansed, uh, I can make some glass. You're supposed to be mining, Oompa. Uh, get to work. I'm gonna change your name as well. I'm gonna name you Guado. Look at that. <laughs> hey, Guado. Welcome to the planet, Guado. Will you mine stuff for me yet? I already put you on a mission for mining and you're not doing it. Hey, look at that. He's doing it. He's doing my bidding. I don't have to work for another day in my life anymore. He is really slow at his job. Good thing I'm not paying him. All right, so I should have enough to make my hat. Holy crap, it's on stilts. That's awesome. Uh, and it's huge. I don't know where to put this thing. Am I able to put it anywhere here? Oh my gosh, can I not? Did I, I, I choose the worst spots for my bases, guys. The absolute worst spots, I can't put it anywhere. Maybe over here? Oh gosh, not by Daryl. Oh, it looks like we're already gonna have to make a, another base or like another area to extend the base, I guess. Maybe this backyard can work, hopefully, please. Maybe that's why it spawns you in specific spots because it knows that you can only build in certain areas. Ooh, this looks like a good spot. Nice and flat. Guess I'll have a secondary home over here. This will be my summer home, a vacation spot. Habitat fulfilled. That looks kind of lame. <laughs> Inspect missing habitat panel with multi-tool. Oh, so you have to build the walls. So I need aluminum, copper, and iron. Oh, and I can make windowed walled and coupler. And of course it's all stormy and dark right when I need to go get resources on a run. Um, I think I know where there's iron. I didn't pick a spot with iron inside of it already. I have a spot that has a lot of copper and aluminum, but as far as iron goes, I think I have to go this way for it. And uh, I don't have, well, does your map even show like directions on it at all? Oh, it does, sweet. So I have to go north in order to get some more iron. And then I'll go back down south and then go back to my base. That's interesting that I know which way is north and stuff. Maybe that's just from like a starting location or relative to where you landed. There's northeast, south and west, or maybe it's relative to where like the moon and sun rise and, and set or something, I don't know. Space is weird, man. Oh shoot, I just realized I had all my steel plates on me. <laughs> I should probably put those back. I don't want to lose all of my stuff just from being stupid and bringing up all my important items with me on a trip where I could possibly and most likely, possibly and most likely die. You know what's really strange is that in some games I have a terrible, terrible, just god awful sense of direction. But for some reason in this game, uh, it's pretty good. Like I, I could just be running through a storm and know kind of the direction of where I'm going. And I didn't even use a map before. So there's that. Oh, I found iron. Wait, where am I? Right when I was talking about sense of direction, really? I have to embarrass myself like this now? I need to make a beacon so that I can find my stuff a little bit easier as well. Hey, I found plutonium though. That's kind of interesting. I am lost. Right when I was talking about sense of direction and being good at like navigating and stuff in this game, I get lost. Holy crap, I went in a huge circle. I know where I'm at now. I'm where the, the worm tries to jump and get you, but uh, my base is all the way over there. So for some reason, I thought I was right on top of it. I got... I got so lost, holy crap, I had no idea. So uh, the place that I was thinking about getting iron is actually over this way. So I'm gonna go over there and try to get as much as I can, I guess. Um, how much weight do I even have right now? 
Where's my weight even at? It's got 66. Okay, so I'm not gonna even be able to carry a whole lot. I do, however, know that you can actually move a little bit faster um, by just using your booster pack when you're not having anything equipped and out. So look how fast you can go with your booster pack. And it works past 100% backpack capacity as well. Um, so that's pretty useful just in case like you need to get a lot of stuff or you have too much on you, but you don't want to drop anything. He is limber. Holy moly. No wonder he's an astronaut. He is, he is built for this job. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Enough of that. Just maybe a little bit more. Yeah, get your stretch on, boy. So, I mean, it still makes you go really slow when you have something out. So, like, I'll boost your pack when I have uh, my gun out. And that's, that's just terribly slow. But when you have nothing equipped, it's the same speed as before. So it's, it's like faster than a sprint, but you don't wanna go past 200% capacity. Cause then at that point, you're pretty much just a boulder and you're just gonna be stuck. So under 200% and you're great uh, above that. And you're just, you're probably gonna die if you don't get rid of your stuff. Oh my God, I'm over encumbered. Oh God, run, run very slowly away. Go Oompa, kill it. Kill it dead. I'm surprised that it doesn't know how to get me up here. Like maybe you can uh, hit me at some point, but I feel like this is a tactical advantage just being on top of this little dome. Checking the perimeter, area secure, sending the crab down to hell, goodbye. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make mostly normal walls and then have some walls with windows just so I can have a, a nice look-see at this beautiful weather here on planet uh, Plebton. It's nice and quiet inside and then instantly when you walk out It's horrifyingly loud. <laughs> See if I can find my way back to my inflatable dome I Can't oh wait. There's Daryl. So here's yep. Here's my dome sweet Even though I know where things are right now. This is like really scary to like just the area that I'm in It's not not very Pleasant to be in all the wind and all the, the possible monsters around me anyways I got a uh, enough stuff to make my airlock here. So I'm gonna put that Right there, what? Oh, stop, turn around. There we go, confirm build. Perfect. And just like that, we got another base and in a flat area where I can build other things. Uh, I'm gonna see what the airlock is. Oh, okay, so it's a two door thing. Begin pressurization, activate, whoa. That's fancy, that's really cool. Uh, can I make anything inside of here though? Build chemistry table in habitat. I like how the mission, it's, it's just to make you kind of learn about the game, really. The first missions, at least. I don't think there's anything like you're specifically trying to do on this planet. So chemistry table, I need more glass. I should just make a second uh, forge over here so I don't have to keep on going back and forth. What else do I need? Titanium, plutonium. I'm just gonna make another one. They're pretty cheap to do. It's, it's so scary just traveling through the darkness like this. I mean, like I said before already, I, I know uh, where everything is, but it's still just like, just terrifying just walking into the abyss not exactly knowing what's there, like monsters or whatnot. So anyways, I got everything I need for that chemistry table. So I'm gonna go get pressurized again. Get my pressurization on. Wow, 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 wow. Pressurize me, Captain. There we go. Um, so now I should be able to build myself a chemistry table. I need more glass. All right, building myself a second forge just so I don't have to go back and forth all the time. Um, honestly, I think that I don't need the inflatable dome. I'm pretty sure that's just a temporary building until I can make myself another bed and save on that. So I don't think that that's a long-term solution, that inflatable thing. And this is my this is my new home. This is where I'm meant to be. Me and Guado are gonna live a, a long, fruitful, healthy life, hopefully. Uh, on this planet. By the way, this is an online server as well, so I'm gonna be able to invite my friends like you guys have been asking for as well. What was that? What's that sound? I don't like that. It's like cracking. That is creepy. Anyways, my friends are gonna be able to join and, and maybe console me whenever I get scared like this. Oh, is that it right there? Did I just see it? <gasps> you. You tried to sneak attack me. Get out of here. Get, this is my land, not yours. Anybody else want some? God, that was so scary. I, I heard that from a long ways away too, thankfully. God, no more please. Also this music is a little bit too intense for what's going on. I'm just building a chemistry table. I guess it knew. <laughs> That, 
<laughs> that music does not fit the scene at all. Chemistry table. Chem chemistry table. At least it's action-packed construction here. What does this say? A chemistry table is a specialized indoor crafting table that transforms many gases and liquids into more complex items. Build inside a habitat. Nice. So that's what the the gas geysers are for, I guess. Also, what do I need to make a beacon? Oh, I can actually make a beacon right now if I wanted to. That would be very, very useful for me to do. <gasps> oh, oh, what the heck? Hi, you. Am I gonna have to smack a bitch? God, nighttime is terrifying. Never go out at nighttime, Mike, ever again. You know what happens. Oh, okay, there we go. Stay back, stay dead. Thank you. I think there might be another one here too. <laughs> Just the music, man. Construct the stuff, build the things. All right, so fabricator, where do I get plastic from? Maybe that's built from my chemistry table? Plastic, there we go. Carbon and hydrogen. away from me you guys holy crap they absolutely my neighbors hate me here come on out let's let's do this let's tango god will they not learn will they just not leave me alone <laughs> this is a dangerous neighborhood i'm in jeez i'm in the wrong side of town okay so i can make plastic from uh carbon and hydrogen but how do i human what I can farm my own poop. I shall make human waste to give myself sustenance. So I think to collect gas, I just need to get a barrel. St stores gas so that it can be used to craft more useful items. Yeah, so I think I can walk around with a barrel and then collect the gas and then come back to my base. Let's try that out. So I think the gas that I needed to find was yellow to build the fabricator, whatever gas that may be. I'm just gonna go by colors. I'm not gonna try to remember the scientific name. I'm just gonna say yellow gas is what I need, okay? so. I'm gonna look around for you. I think I saw it before. Oh, I see yellow gas over there. Looks like we're going on a little adventure, guys. It's the Chronicle for the yellow gas, trying to get ourselves some of that, that sweet, sweet yellow gas. Ooh, look at all that yellow gas. Hopefully there's not a worm down here. I guess I'll just listen for it. Do I hear any monsters? Oh, I think I already, I needed carbon too, so that's perfect. So I have a maximum of 100. Hopefully that's enough, I don't know what that number is supposed to entail to. But I also have carbon down here, which is, I think is what I needed as well. So might as well take as much as I can carry. If I was the real Elon Musk scientist uh, man, he, I would just make everything from carbon. He probably has to know how to do that. Now I can, oh, I can only make two plastics out of a hundred hydrogen. So it's probably good to have multiple barrels. Hopefully this will actually build it. I didn't see it there. Where's the... Oh, it's right in the oh, it's right in the center. I see. Okay. I was like, it's not appearing on the wall. Hopefully I'm actually building this thing, but it's right there. Cool. So what does the, the fabricator do? It says, uh, fabricator is an indoor crafting table that uses advanced technology to print new complex items from basic components built inside of a habitat. Build oxygenator in habitat. Okay. Oh, wow. Now we're getting advanced and I have to find lithium. Where the heck do I find? I've never seen lithium before. I uh, have gold to make wires, but I can make circuit boards and batteries. A dart gun, special weapon that fires dart projectiles to stun enemies and also tame creatures. What? You can tame creatures? I'm gonna have myself an army, guys, at some point. That's amazing. And then I can also make the assault rifle, which is awesome if if I die. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave that episode here. Uh, it's really exciting to see all the stuff that is like the possibilities are opening up and more and more stuff is happening in the game. And that's really exciting to see that uh, I'm gonna be able to do a lot of really cool things in this game. So I'm, I'm really digging this game so far. Hopefully you guys enjoy it too. And if you do leave a like and a comment down below, letting me know you want me to continue this game um, as a series on my channel. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And remember to keep having fun. Bye bye. That's definitely a worm by the way. That's a mouth. All right, guys, and I'm gonna leave that episode here. Uh, that's really exciting to see all the... Am I being attacked? Hold on.